let's analyze the continuous beam's effective span under various circumstances according to AS 456, 2000. The effective span of a continuous beam is described as follows in accordance with AS 456, 2000. 22.2 Effective Span Unless otherwise specified, the effective span of a member shall be as follows. A. Simply supported beam or slab. The effective span of a member that is not built integrally with its support shall be taken as clear span plus the effective depth of slab or beam, or center to center of supports, whichever is less. B. Continuous beam or slab. In the case of a continuous beam or slab, if the width of the support is less than one twelfth of the clear span, the effective span shall be as in 22.2. A. Simply supported beam or slab. If the supports are wider than one twelfth of the clear span or 600 mm whichever is less, the effective span shall be taken as under. One for the end span with one end fixed and the other continuous or for intermediate spans, the effective span shall be the clear span between supports. Two for the end span with one end free and the other continuous, the effective span shall be equal to the clear span plus half the effective depth of the beam or slab, or the clear span plus half the width of the discontinuous support, whichever is less. 3. In the case of spans with roller or rocket bearings, the effective span shall always be the distance between the centers of bearings. Example 1. Let us calculate the effective span of the continuous beam. Given data. Beam depth equals 450 mm. Support width of column equals 300 mm. Clear span equals 4,500 mm. Effective depth equals 407 mm. Calculation. Let us check condition 1 of the I, S456 code. 1 12th times clear span. Equals 1 12th times 4,500 mm equals 375 mm. Equals 375 mm greater than 300 mm. Here, the width of the column support is less than 1 divided by 12th of the clear span of the beam. So, the effective span shall be as simply supported beam. In this case, we have to treat the continuous beam as a simply supported beam to calculate the effective span. Step 1. The effective length of the beam. Equals clear span of the beam plus effective depth. Equals 4,500 mm plus 407 mm equals 4,907 mm. Step 2. The effective length of the beam. Equals clear span plus half support of column 1 plus half support of column 2. Equals 4,500 mm plus half times 300 mm plus half times 300 mm. Equals 4,500 mm plus 150 mm plus 150 mm equals 4,800 mm. Step 3. The actual effective length of the beam will be the lesser of the values calculated in step 1 and step 2. Here, step 1 greater than step 2. 4,907 mm greater than 4,800 mm. So, the effective length of the beam is 4,800 mm. Example 2. Let us calculate the effective span of the continuous beam. Given data. Beam depth equals 450 mm. Support width of column equals 450 mm. Clear span equals 4,500 mm. Calculation. Let us check condition 1 of the I, S456 code. 1 12th times clear span. Equals 1 12th times 4,500 mm. Equals 375 mm lesser than 450 mm. Here, the width of the column support is wider than 1 12th of the clear span of the beam. The given continuous beam has one end fixed and the other continuous. So, as per I, S456, the effective span shall be equal to the clear span between the supports. The effective span equals clear span equals 4,500 mm. Example 3. Let us observe the continuous beam supported over bearings. According to I, S456, 2000, the effective span for roller support shall always be the distance between the center of the bearings. 
here. Effective span equals center to center distance between the roller equals 5000 millimeters. Example 4. Let us calculate the effective span of the continuous beam. Given data. Clear span of the beam equals 4,500 mm. Width of the column support equals 450 mm. Beam depth equals 450 mm. Beam width equals 230 mm. Clear cover equals 25 mm. Diameter of stirrup bar equals 8 mm. Diameter off bottom bar equals 20 mm. Effective depth equals 407 mm. Calculation. Let us check condition 1 of the I, S456 code. 1 12th times clear span. Equals 1 12th times 4,500 mm. Equals 375 mm lesser than 450 mm. Here, the width of the column support is more than 1 12th of the clear span of the beam. The given continuous beam has one free end and the other continuous. So, as per I, S456. Step 1. The effective span of the beam. Equals clear span of the beam plus half times effective depth. Equals 4,500 mm plus half times 407 mm. Equals 4,500 mm plus 203.5 mm equals 4,703.5 mm. Step 2. The effective span of the beam. Equals clear span of the beam plus half times width of support. Equals 4,500 mm plus half times 450 mm. Equals 4,500 mm plus 225 mm. Equals 4,725 mm. Step 3. The actual effective span of the beam will be the lesser of the values calculated in step 1 and step 2. Here. Step 1 lesser than step 2. 4,703.5 mm lesser than 4,725 mm. So, the effective span of the beam equals 4,703.5 mm. Thank you very much for watching. Please do make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button below the video. That way you aren't missing out on any of the videos I upload. Also, I would very much appreciate it. If you gave the video a thumbs up, thank you very much. I hope you have enjoyed that and it has gotten some way to help you. I sincerely hope you understand how to calculate the effective span of the RCC continuous beam. Thank you so much, have a great day.